And this is Ken Kreitzer at the New York Direct Marketing Club. We had a great session today talking about subscription marketing. And I have a chance to talk with uh, Robert Manger, who is with Sandovic Publishing Inter Interactive. And Rob, a uh, good session today. Uh, one of the things I, I, you know, the panelists were talking about was just the, the importance of creating a positive online experience for, for a customer. What are your thoughts about the keys to just providing a good experience online for customers? Yeah, I'd say it's an expectation among customers today. I mean, they're, they're expecting to be able to have full control over memberships and their entire experience. So our ability to provide that through technology is key and, and available, readily available now with today's uh, technology and um, uh, you know, database uh, advancements. Okay. And one of the things that I was brought up was how to source customers. So much of this is through digital, uh, uh, through social media, and even through email, what what are the keys you find in just sourcing customers, bringing attention to your to your publishing items? Yeah, you know, one of the things I didn't get a chance to talk about in the panel actually, and I'm happy to ask that question, is context. Uh, you know, one of the, the the big things with marketing online is that there's a much greater connection between. Your, your list or your audience and your product. You know, the perception of the customer is that when you're advertising on a site, you're somehow associated with the content and that site. So finding the right context and putting your offer in context for where you're advertising, highly important. Actually, one of the points that you brought up, which was so important, it's one thing to help a customer find the one item that they are looking for, but then trying to help them find the next big thing, the next item, they may not not have even been thinking about, but you can show them uh, kind of the equivalent of helping them browse through a bookstore uh, uh, aisle. What are your thoughts about helping customers find the next item that they may be interested in purchasing? Well, I, th I think that's where the power of subscription marketing is really coming from, is the, the marketer's ability to introduce people to products that they didn't know existed before. You know, so you sign up for, you know, Craig brought up the idea of men's grooming products. You, know, you may get things in that box that you never heard, ever tried before, but you might love. And that, that's the whole idea of these subscription boxes, is that there's always something new in there, and you're on the front edge of, of trying something new that you can then become an ambassador to your friends with. And one of your uh, uh, very important points on the panel was the importance of, of mobile, that the mobile screen should really be the first one you expect customers to see your website, uh, your mobile site on, and, and your products. What are, what are some of the ways for a marketer to uh, present correctly on a mobile site so that a customer can fully uh, uh, understand the offer and, and the uh, product uh, experience? Yeah, it's what I call taking a mobile first approach in all of your design approaches. So uh, you know, when we design web pages, we design any type of uh, interface, we take a mobile first approach, meaning that we look at it primarily on a mobile device and on a computer device secondarily. Because understanding and recognizing that the majority of the browsing and the initial content will be on your phone and secondarily at home at your computer or your desk um, is the basis that I was talking about. Absolutely, and if you would just tell, uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the merchandise that you offer at Sandovic Publishing Interactive. Yeah, we uh, operate book clubs for kids. So we have some major brands, uh, Dr. Seuss, Disney, Baby Einstein, and Elmo. Uh, we also market Hooked on Phonics, both uh, on, offline and digitally. That's great, and tell us a little bit about your uh, career in uh, direct marketing and digital marketing. Uh, I've been working in digital marketing for about five or six years and in direct marketing for almost 20. Um, you know, started out in direct mail like everybody else in direct marketing and uh, migrated over to, uh, to digital when that became the, uh, the new way to do direct marketing. Um, so, you know, I was, I was around when Ed McMahon gave away $11 million and when uh, BMG was giving away 11 CDs for the price of one. And uh, now, we're, now we're doing it all digitally, that's great. And one, one last question we're kind of working on with all of our clients is how to prepare for the busy fourth quarter season. Uh, you're talking about a lot of these things, being your merchandise, your offers being great as gifts, uh, perhaps from grandparents to children. What are some of the ways for an online marketer to uh, be more visible in the important fourth quarter sales season? Uh, make the conversion process simple. Uh, don't make it overly complicated. Uh, let people do what they need to do, buy what they want to buy, and move on to the next task, because the holidays are hectic, and uh, people are looking to get through the, the conversion process and move on to the next one. That's great. Robert Manger from Sandovic Interactive Publishing. Our best wish is great to have you here at the Direct Marketing Club of New York. Great. Thanks a lot, Ken. Thank you. This is Ken Kreitzer for CBSI Services in New York City.